A film set in the Crimean city of Yalta lays abandoned on the premises of the Yalta Film Studio, one of the oldest film companies in the region dating back to the Soviet era. In 2000, the studio was bought by Russian bankers and film producers, brothers Andrei and Sergei Arshinov. Following Crimea's annexation by Russia nearly a year ago, its fate took a new turn. Sergei Arshinov, part owner of the company, says control of the studio was taken from them by armed men who stormed the grounds. If to say at what moment we lost control over the film studio, it happened on the 1st of October, when people wearing black uniforms entered the studio's grounds and put all our staff and our tenants on the floor. And at this moment, all studio's facilities have been sealed off and we were prevented from entering the film studio. Among a series of companies hit with seizures of their property by Russian occupying authorities is also Krumavta Trans, a company that provides services involved with public transport. Jean Jarputa, who is the lawyer for the shareholders of Krumavta Trans, says the armed men also seized money from the company. He says the authorities on the peninsula are trying to create a Soviet-style state-controlled economy in Crimea. Companies belonging to Ukrainian oligarch Igor Kolomoisky have also been nationalized. The takeover began with all the branches of his bank, Privat Bank, once the largest in Crimea. Ukru Telecom, which once belonged to Ukraine's richest man, Vinat Akhmetov, was seized at the end of February. Since Russia illegally annexed Crimea in March last year, according to the Ukrainian Justice Ministry, about 4,000 businesses and state institutions lost their properties in Crimea.